Good morning, everyone, and welcome to this week's cross-training lesson from Christchurch Plegari. I hope that you're all well and that your families are staying well at this time. At the moment, we're looking at a series of stories from the Old Testament, the life of Elisha, who was one of God's prophets during the time of the kings of Israel. Um, but to start the lesson, I want you to just look at a few pictures with me. And what I want you to look at is what all the different pictures have in common. So this is the first one. <clears throat> Excuse me. What do all the things, the items you see in this picture have in common? They're all um, types of transport. I'm sure you all got that fairly quickly. And the next one. What do all of these have in common? Yes, they're all wild animals that are found in South Africa. And this last one, I want you to try. This one's a bit harder, but if you can think of what all of these have in common. We're looking at a sunflower and some peanuts and a coconut and some olives. Well, I hope you've guessed it. They're all fruits and seeds that we get oil from. We use sunflower oil and coconut oil and olive oil, and people also use peanut butter oil for cooking and baking. Um, in biblical times, olive oil was used a lot they used it for cooking, for lighting. They put it in lamps with a wick and burned it to give them light. They used it for cosmetics to keep their skin soft and smooth and for medicine. And prophets and kings were also anointed with oil. So as you can see, olive oil was very important at those times. And it was also used... Um, as currency to pay people for things. So the farmer who owned the press that pressed the oil out of the olives would usually get paid with some of the oil that he extracted from the olives. And the story we're looking at this morning um, with Elisha um, was a, a widow woman who, a widow her husband had died, and he had been a prophet as well. And she was in trouble, and she came to Elisha for help. Um, so I'm going to read you the story from the Bible. It comes from Second Kings chapter 4, and we're going to read from verse 1. It's called The Widow's Oil. The wife of a man from the company of the prophets cried out to Elisha, Your servant, my husband, is dead, and you know that he revered the Lord. But now his creditor is coming to take my two boys as his slaves. Elisha replied to her, How can I help you? Tell me, what do you have in your house? Your servant has nothing there at all, she said, except a little oil. Elisha said, go around and ask all your neighbors for empty jars. Don't ask for just a few. Then go inside and shut the door behind you and your sons. Pour oil into all the jars, and as each is filled, Put it to one side. She left him and afterwards shut the door behind her and her sons. They brought the jars to her and she kept pouring. When all the jars were full, she said to her son, Bring me another one. But he replied, There is not a jar left. Then the oil stopped flowing. She went and told the man of God, and he said, Go, sell the oil, and pay your debts, 
you and your sons can live on what is left. So here, just to go over the story, the widow came to Elisha and she obviously owed someone money and she had nothing to pay it with. And in, in those times, in the law of Moses, if you couldn't pay someone, they were allowed to make you work for them. But it was only for a limited time. You weren't to be treated as a slave. It was just for a limited time. But this widow came to Elisha and said that this person wanted to take her boys as slaves, which meant that she would never see them again. And so if you remember from the story, Elisha said, what do you have? And all she had was a small jar of oil. And he said, right, get your neighbors to give you all the jars they have and get your sons to gather them and take them into the house. And so they gathered all the empty jars from their neighbors and they went into the house and closed the door. And one of the reasons that Elisha told them to close the door was he didn't want a big public spectacle made of this miracle. Um, God's grace and mercy is sometimes done in private where people don't see it. And then as the, the widow poured from her little bottle, she filled all of the jars that had been gathered until her son said, you know, all the jars are empty. And then she went to Elisha and he said, take all the oil and sell it. And then you'll have enough to pay off your debt. And you'll also have enough for you and your sons to look after you. Because then her sons would grow older and they'd be big enough to help her work their farm or earn a living and help to look after her. So we see how um, God is gracious in small everyday things of looking after his people. Um, this widow's husband had served God faithfully, and so he looked after her um, at this time. And then the woman had two problems. She had the immediate problem of this person who wanted to be repaid the money she owed, but also her future and what she was going to do to look after herself. And we also have a debt that we can't pay on our own. But God has provided Jesus, who paid the debt for our sins on the cross, and gave us, paid the debt for now, and also into eternity, so that we can be with him in heaven forever. So it's a wonderful story of comfort to know that God is with us in the smaller things for today, but also in eternity. Um, let's just um, spend a bit of time in prayer, and then I'll tell you about the activity there is for you to do. Lord, we thank you for this true story from the Bible this wonderful story about Elisha who helped a widow who had a problem. Lord, how you provided for her, for her immediate problem, and also for her future. And we thank you, Lord, that you provided Jesus for us. He paid for our sins on the cross and set us free to know you now and forever. We just thank you for that, Lord, that you watch over us each day. We pray that you would be with us and our families at this time, that we would look to you and trust in you for all things. And so we pray that you'd be with us today and in the week ahead. And we pray this in Jesus' precious holy name and in the power and ministry of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Um, there will be a link um, that Colin will put up um, for your parents to print a, a sheet for you to color in to remind you of the story of today of the widow. 
And then for the older children, there'll be an activity sheet um, that you can print out and you'll need your Bible. Um, and the reference is in the Old Testament, 2 Kings chapter 4, to help you find those answers. So I hope that you're keeping well. I miss seeing you and we'll see you again next week. Take care. God bless.